Good morning everyone, SBG Active Aussie here. Friday morning, it's 10.45 a.m. Just want to briefly talk about something I came across a few days ago. There was an article on ABC News USA about an overweight woman who complained that the aisles on aircraft are too narrow and that the planes should be redesigned. And I left a comment about this yesterday in regard to a video made by the MGTOW Infinium and just thought I'd come out, make a video about this topic. Recently, a guy I knew who I went to school with quite a long time ago, obviously, he died of cancer. He had pancreatic cancer and bile duct cancer, apparently. And I didn't know this guy very well, but my brother-in-law also went to school with him and was quite good friends with him. And he went up to the hospital, but sadly that guy has now died and he was only 56 years old. And I think it's terrible when anyone dies from cancer and has a painful death, but people still need to be responsible for their own actions and have individual responsibility. And this guy who died, he was leading a very unhealthy lifestyle. He used to drink beer every day, ate a lot of junk food. And even though it's sad when someone dies from cancer, if they've been smoking all their life, if they've been drinking every day, if they're eating junk food, it really is self-inflicted to a point. You really can't say it any other way. Although there may be some hereditary issues involved as well, but diet and lifestyle has a lot to do with it, I feel. But anyway, I'm getting a bit off topic there, but I was talking to my sister and brother-in-law about this, and I mentioned the story about the fat lady on the aeroplane in the USA, and I said to my sister, what do you think about that? And my sister, has feminist leanings to a certain extent. And when I, when I told her about this story, she basically said that it's the fault of fast food marketing, marketing by fast food companies that caused this woman to become fat. And this is something I've noticed with a lot of women, a lot of women nowadays is that even the slightest amount of criticism, criticism of a woman, they become very defensive and even irate in some circumstances. And they have to go on the defensive and try to defend another woman, even if she has done something stupid or she is responsible for leading a certain type of lifestyle so my sister just said oh it's the fault of mcdonald's kfc burger king etc because of their pervasive insidious type of advertising but the thing is that mcdonald's burger king kfc they may sell what we consider to be an elk an unhealthy product but KFC and McDonald's don't force people to stuff hamburgers and fried chicken down their throats every day so these types of foods are supposed to be eaten in moderation so I suppose if you become addicted to junk food just like any other addiction it's your own fault for not showing any sort of discipline so I thought about this when 
my sister told me, oh, we should feel sorry for these women. It's not really their fault. It's the fault of the fast food marketing. Maybe you've come across something like this within your own family. There just seems to be a lack of accountability in many areas and even a slight criticism of women is considered to be and characterized as being misogyny so there is a big difference between blatant misogyny and criticism it also is something i've noticed in regard to certain racial issue racial issues so when white people criticize black people it's racism when black people criticize white people it's considered to be racism if asians criticize another race it's racism so there is a difference between criticism and racism and there is a difference between a big difference between just hating women and criticizing them so we have the so-called offense industry that has developed over a long period of time i feel and it's always someone else who is to blame for individuals problems the things that occur in their life just wanted to make this video thought about it for a few days since i spoke to my sister about the fat lady on the airplane so as usual, let me know what you think about this. Maybe you've come across these sort of instances within your own family. I could probably think of a few other ones as well, but um, that's all for now. Anyway, leave a few comments, tell me what you think about that, and I'll talk to you later. Cheers.